So, what's up guys? Muzzafuzza here, and today is one of those days. Um, this is some Black Ops 1 gameplay. I got some old Call of Duty gameplay for you. If you enjoy it, enjoy. If you don't, don't watch it. Um, it's just some AK-74U on radiation, and uh, it's not really relevant or, or too important to what I want to be talking about, but basically to, to get into this to get into this video, I want to just uh, kind of say that it's, it's the holidays pretty much right now, and it's not like Thanksgiving and Christmas are going on right now, but basically if you're a gamer, if you're someone who enjoys using a controller or you enjoy uh, playing Call of Duty or any of the AAA titles, even Battlefield, um, it's the gaming holidays right now. It's pretty much gaming season, like it's open season for video games. And uh, with the new Call of Duty coming out and the new Battlefield and uh, even, what, what else, Titanfall, there's a whole bunch of new stuff coming out uh, around this season. I thought I would bring up a commentary about uh, things that don't change and things that kind of stay the same from game to game. And uh, even with these new next-gen consoles, the Xbox One, a.k.a. the X-Bone, and the, uh, that's such a stupid name, uh, and the PlayStation 4, uh, I just wanted to talk about, like, my thoughts, my thoughts on, uh, how things change from game to game and from season to season and, and kind of just my feelings about, uh, this, this whole thing here. So, this gameplay here reminded me that no matter what year it is, no matter how old I get, no matter who I'm playing with, um, no matter the Call of Duty game or what game it is, regardless, there are going to be some moments where it's just like, this is why I bought this game. This is why I play this video game. This is the good feeling that I was going for when I was buying this game or, or I don't know, even just investing my time into this game. When I play Call of Duty and I go on a tear and I just go on a bunch of kill streaks and I'm just feeling good and I'm tearing up everybody in the lobby and you get that sense of confidence that just pushes you over the edge and you can rush people's spawns and just keep getting kills and keep lining up the kill streaks as I get my uh, nice little double kill there for the attack helicopter. Chopter? What's a chopter? I sound kind of foreign right now. Is this accent racist? I don't know. But basically what I'm trying to get to is, like, even though we get older every year and there's always a new Call of Duty game every year, it's not really about the game itself and the engine and the maps and the guns and the weapons and the attachments. It's not about that for me. It's more about the moments. And I've talked about this a little bit, but I like to keep bringing it up because I feel like the more these awesome moments that you can create or at least put yourself in the right position to be in, uh, the more you're going to enjoy the game. And the more you can take yourself out of those bad situations and those bad circumstances and those uh, negative experiences with video games that I know a lot of people have because a lot of people rage when they play Call of Duty. A lot of people end up breaking controllers or they play way too much and they end up failing in their class or whatever. Like, video games can have some negative uh, consequences and it's mostly up to the user on whether or not they do. I know plenty of people who play tons of video games and they're super successful and uh, they, they get everything done that they need to get done in their life, but on the flip side there are a lot of lazy bitches out there There's a lot of people who aren't willing to put in the work and they play too many games and end up getting really lazy with it And that's all they end up doing is playing video games and, and not really doing anything else So uh, it's a broad spectrum obviously, but there's two sides to the story and for me really That's what never changes from Call of Duty to Call of Duty. It's it's about trying to have the best experience possible, get the most awesome gameplays possible, get the best clips possible, and just have the, the most awesome things that can possibly happen happen in the least amount of time. Because if you play uh, a few hours straight and you get no good gameplay and you're not on, your shot's not on and you're not being very accurate and you're not playing with the team and you're, you're not doing so hot and you're lowering all your stats and stuff, it can get kind of uh, degrading. You can feel like uh, it's, it's not worth it and you're just like, why am I even doing this? Um, on the other hand, like you could be playing with a team and just killing shit and getting a win streak and lots of kill streaks and just owning it up and you'll feel great and you'll just want to keep playing and playing and playing. And that's what's timeless about Call of Duty for me, is like when I get in that right mindset, when I have the right attitude about the game and I'm in that perfect groove as far as play style, I'm just playing right, I'm still like being aggressive and rushing around, but I'm cutting corners and pulling angles and lines of sight and getting my kill streaks. Like when things are going good, I just want to keep recreating that in a bunch of different situations on all the different maps and all the different... Uh, game types and stuff that you can do in the game and that's what I would recommend for you guys if you want to enjoy Call of Duty and get the most out of it you got to really focus on what experience you're trying to get from it and uh, just keep trying to recreate that over and over and over to the best of your ability 
And for different people, it's going to be different things. I know a lot of people who like to stick to one game type, like they only play Search and Destroy, or they only play Team Deathmatch, or whatever. It's it's completely up to you how you want to roll on this game. Some people just stick to free-for-all. Some people don't even play the main game types, and they only play hardcore. Um, obviously, there's just going to be a bunch of different genres and niches and, and different cliques of Call of Duty players. But the biggest tip I can give to anybody is play with your friends. Obviously, that's huge. That's crucial. If you don't have any friends, go outside for once, make some friends, and uh, hopefully they have an Xbox or something. <laughs> uh, I'm just kidding. Like, you can make most of your friends off the Internet nowadays. If you just uh, get on Twitter or get on Facebook or get on... Uh, YouTube, what we're on right now. If you just make a YouTube channel, you can eventually find some friends to play with that are at least as good as you, or they're, they have the same goals as mine as you, or they want to play the same thing that you do. And uh, I think friends and, and just having the right attitude are the two most important things for getting the most out of a, a game, any game, not just Call of Duty. Uh, so there you go. There you have it. That's kind of all I really wanted to say in this video. I think I got my thoughts out. Focus on what is timeless, not what is just relevant to the one game that you're playing because I remember when, when Modern Warfare 3 was out I would only really enjoy like two hours of my play session on Modern Warfare 3 out of like whatever I played like 12 or 14 hours of the whole day I would really only enjoy like a little smidgen of it so try to enjoy as much as you can if you're not enjoying the game get off play a different game go do something else and uh, yeah that's my commentary for today so I hope you guys enjoyed this if you like videos like this help support them with likes favorites comments I do appreciate all the support on my channel lately and uh, check out all my links down below in the description follow me on Twitter and Facebook and stuff and I'll see you guys later